nice having you again my friends and in this video we're going to be looking at the solution to the January 2013 CSEC math exam pass paper question 4b now here it states that the functions f and g are defined as follows f of x is equal to 2x plus 5 g of x is equal to x minus 3 upon 2 and here they're asking us to evaluate in part 1 f inverse of 19. Now, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take f of x, the function f of x, since they're asking us to find the function f inverse, and I'm going to find the inverse of f of x, okay? So here in part one, my friends, part one, first I'm going to do, before I find f inverse of 19, I'm going to find the, the inverse of f of x. So f of x is equal to, and they gave that to us, which is 2x plus 5. Okay, now my friends, to find the inverse of the function f of x, first we are going. First step is to replace f of x with the letter y. So y is equal to two x plus five. Okay, now after replaced um, f of x with y, then the other step, the next step that we need to take, we are going to have to interchange x and y, and by that we mean we're just going to switch places with x x and y. So wherever I see x over here, I'm going to replace it with y. And wherever I see y here, I'm going to replace it with x. So therefore, I would have x is equal to 2y plus 5. Okay. Now, pretty much um, when I'm here, basically, I've just interchanged. So I'm going to make y the subject now, my friends. So the next step from here is to make y the subject of my equation. So if you notice, I have a 5 is being added to my y's there. So I'm, I'm going to have to subtract 5 from both sides, OK? So I'm going to take over that 5. So I'll have x minus 5 is equal to 2y plus 5. And remember, we subtracted 5 from one side. so we have to subtract 5 from the other so that the equation can remain true, okay? So obviously, positive and negative 5 will cancel out. So we're left with x minus 5 is equal to 2y, okay? Now, if you notice, um, 2 is multiplying the y, and I need to make y the subject. So I must do the opposite of multiplication, which is division. So let's divide both sides of our equation by 2. So 2 will cancel out with 2. Therefore, I have a y is equal to, and I'm just switching around the equation, okay? I have a y alone is left on one side, so I placed y there. Um, y is equal to x minus 5 all upon 2. But remember, we were asked to make, to find rather, the inverse of f of x. So this is what we're finding, actually, the inverse. So we're going to have to know in the last step, replace y with f inverse. Let me just change that color. It's a bit ugly. Okay. Uh, we're going to have to replace y now with f inverse of x is equal to our answer, which is x minus 5 all upon 2. And that's how you find the inverse of a function. Okay. Now, let us look at um, the other part. Let's just split the screen here. So, my friends, they had asked us to find the to find f inverse of 19, okay? Now, since we have found f inverse of x, then we can just simply substitute uh, the 19 into it, okay? And it's pretty much easy. It's like this. We'll, we'll now say f inverse or f inverse that we have found, f inverse of x is equal to x minus 5 all upon 2, okay? But if you notice, they're asking, they had asked us to find the f inverse f inverse of 19 okay so basically what this simply means is that wherever i am seeing x and let's just make a connection here wherever i see x in the inverse i'm going to replace it with 19 if you notice both are in the same places so that's what that is saying so i'm going to say okay since i have a x there i'm going to replace that x with the 19 so really this is saying 19 minus 5 all upon 2 so this would be equal to 19 minus 5 that would leave us with a 14 all upon 2 
and 14 divided by 2 is equal to 7. So that would be our answer. Okay, guys, pretty much that easy. So for part 1, f inverse of 19 is equal to 7. Now let's look at part 2, g of f of 3. Okay, let's just now, my friends, they're asking us to find in part 2, and let's just make a note here, part 2, they're asking us to find g of f of 3, okay? Now, if you notice, uh, and, and let me just identify this for you quickly. Um, if you notice, f of 3, f of 3, this f of 3 is really going into g, okay? So a neat little trick you could do, um, if, you, if, if you're not sure, you could find f of 3 first. And then whatsoever you get for your answer there, you could always put it in g, okay, my friends? So you could say, for quick um, calculation, you could say, okay, since f of x is equal to, and they gave that to us, which is 2x plus 5, you could say, okay, let's find f of Three, okay and that would be equal to 2 and remember wherever you see x you're going to replace it with 3 so that would be 2 times 3 plus 5 okay so this would be equal to really we would get two threes that would give us a 6 plus 5 okay and that would be equal to a 11 okay now what this is saying f of 3 worked out to be 11 okay so all of this here is 11 what this is saying all of this f of 3 is 11 now i am just simply going to find g i'm going to replace f of 3 with 11 because therefore let me just make a quick note here therefore f of 3 would be equal to 11 so i am just going to find now g of 11 okay my friends and that would be equal to and all we're doing we're taking g um so g of x says x minus 3 all upon 2 okay my friends which is here so all i'm simply going to do is to take that and i'm going to replace the x with 11 and i'm going to say 11 minus 3 all upon 2 and that is equal to and let's just change the color uh, 11 minus 3 that's 8 upon 2 okay and 8 divided by 2 is really equal to 4 okay and that's my answer so really f g of f of 3 is 4 that's our answer hope that this was useful feel free to leave a comment on our website if you're still not sure at willedutech.com and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Bye-bye.